Hey there, and welcome back to Pips and Chits. Today, I will be unboxing the latest expansion for the cooperative one the five player game, Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition, The Path of the Serpent, published by Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, what can I say? Mansions of Madness has to be one of my personal favorite tabletop games of all time. Whether I'm playing solo or with a small group of my friends, I find the whole game uh, experience very immersive and thematic. You and other players take on the role of various uh, asymmetric investigators set in a Lovecraftian universe, trying to outwit horrific monsters, uh, various nightmares, and the occult, all within a backdrop of 1920s Arkham, Massachusetts. Uh, each investigator is unique. They have their own strengths, their own weaknesses, special abilities, and together, uh, you try to overcome the various scenario that the digital app throws at you. And speaking of the digital app, it always guarantees random events, monsters, and, and the board continuously changes every time you play. So while the scenarios might follow the same path, each time you play, it truly is a different experience. And I just get so immersed in the artwork and the sound effects and I always have a feeling of racing against the clock as the tension starts to mount and trying to avoid both physical ailments and suffering from mental hardships that can lead the investigators down a path of uh, personal insanity. Uh, path of the Serpent here, this is the fifth expansion. And as of this recording, it is currently ranked at 8.6 out of 10 on Board Game Geek. Personally, I'm especially excited about this one uh, just because of the setting alone. The included scenarios take place in the jungles of the Amazon. So for the first time, we're out of the eastern seaboard and um, we are exploring dense jungles, ruins of ancient Incans and Mayans. There, of course, is uh, new puzzles, new investigators, and hey, it wouldn't be a Mansions of Madness game without new monsters. And so let us let me go ahead and take the shrink wrap off. Uh, we'll turn the box over and we'll learn about some of the contents before we open it and read you the box copy. So take the shrink wrap off just so we can get rid of the glare. All right. So welcome to the jungle. For all its uh, primal beauty, the thick trees and lush greenery of the, of the jungle conceal many perils. Unrelenting heat, limited supplies, and sharp-toothed beasts would be enough to drive the, any intrepid explorer back to the comforts of civilized society. Those that survive the ordinary dangers are rewarded uh, with more challenges, cursed idols, trap-filled temples, and long-forgotten gods await any who would uh, dare to uh, uncover them. So it says, The Path of the Serpent expansion sends investigators into the unexplored wilderness of the Amazon jungle. Uh, investigators must discover ancient secrets of lost civilizations, stop a serpent's curse, and explore vine-covered crumbling ruins. Three new scenarios, battle horrifying uh, serpent creatures, face stone monstrosities that come to life, and beat the ever-present danger of being lost to the jungle forever. The investigators will need to fight tooth and claw to survive the expedition into the forgotten uh, reaches of the world. And of course, like all the other Mansions of Madness games, it requires that you have uh, the core, the base game of 2nd edition, and you need to download the app. Down here we show uh, players 14 and above, uh, 1 to 5 players, and 2 to 3 hours. And then here, game contents. We have a rule book, 4 investigator cards and plastic figures, 17 map tiles. Wow, that's quite a bit. Uh, 16 new common item cards, 5 unique item cards, 15 spell cards, 12 condition cards, 3 damage cards, 3 horror cards, 5 person tokens, 8 monster tokens and plastic figures, and 27 overgrowth and rubble tokens, 8 door tokens, and 8 wall tokens. Wow, 
that would explain why this is probably one of the heavier expansions and probably why it costs a little bit more than the other ones. Right now, I think this retails, you can get it on Miniature Market and Cool Stuff uh, Inc. Slightly under 50 bucks. A lot of the other expansions uh, roughly run about $30. So this one's a, definitely a little bit beefier. So without further ado, let's open the box. All right. First thing that we have here is um, an expansion overview and color. Let's open this up. Looks like a, a new puzzle, some additional rules. Uh, again, talking about the components, which I already read to you. Assembling the monsters. So it looks like one of, at least this snake monster is going to come in multiple parts here. And uh, credits. So a total of four pages. And here we are right at the tiles. So before I do that, let me get my little X-Acto knife here. We'll get that shrink wrap off. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at some of the new tokens. Oops. Make a small cut here on the side. All right. Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. Well... Very pretty colors. It looks like we have a pool chamber. I'm reading reading the size of these. An altar chamber. An ancient... What does this say here? Oh, anti-chamber. So it looks like, uh, again, some Incan or Mayan ruins of some sort. Uh, we have a crumbling plaza. What I always love about this game, too, is uh, all the uh, map tiles are uh, double-sided. So they might fall out. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have uh, some river tiles, rivers one and two. Uh, I imagine this is some of our uh, uh, jungle overgrowth tiles and rubble tiles here. Moving on to the next one. Gosh, we got some big ones this time. Uh, we have a cracked chamber. Uh, we have a burial chamber with some colorful pots and a skeleton down there. We have a bed chamber. Uh, more overgrowth tokens. I'll flip this over. Oh, wow. Okay, so it looks like we have the outside of a temple. We have uh, temple stairs. And what do we have here? We have uh, jungle ruins too. And an overgrown path. Very nice. Man, I just love, I love the artwork here. I really can get into that. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Let me turn this one so the camera, you can see it. It's the mosaic chamber. Wow, that's really colorful. It's split into uh, two parts of this room. See, where these white lines are generally splits the room up. Some of those larger ones that we saw earlier were three and four spaces each. Looks like this mosaic chamber is only two spaces. Uh, we have another ruined chamber here. Flipping this over, we have uh, a river crossing, it says here, divided into two parts. Looks like we have a rope bridge uh, divided into multiple parts. And we have, what does this one say here? That says a shrine. Pop those out later. Okay, another larger ones. We have a pit. We have a storage chamber. Um, we have the Verdant Chamber, and here's some of the tokens for the monsters. We have a Serpent Person, an Ancient Basilisk, a, a couple Serpent Persons, so we'll see those here in a minute. Wow, another sheet, and we have a Statue Chamber with crumbled statues, and this is divided up into four. We have a Tunnel, uh, what is this here? A sunlit chamber, that's kind of neat. It's got columns of light that are shining down on these various um, you know, focal points there. Got a couple more monsters. We have the Temple Guardian. We have a Feathered Serpent with two of those. Flip this over here and we have oops, Hollow Grove, a Ravine, and this one fell out here. 
And we have Jungle Ruins 3 and a Ruined Hut. And I believe this might be our last one here. We have um, the Throne Chamber divided up into three areas. Some uh, tokens here for, I imagine, NPC characters. Um, things that would mark either doors or walls. I'll flip that over. Uh, one more, we have the river's edge with another little bridge here and the, you know, more doors and, and walls. So I guess you would flip them over whether the door is open or closed. And now the inside of the box. So let's see what we have here. We have our investigator cards. Let's take a look at our new investigators. So we have Leo Anderson, who has uh, statistics of uh, seven health and seven mental strength. He is the expedition leader and his powers once per round. When you perform a move action, another investigator may move one space. And he's got all the, all the uh, investigators always have a little backstory or lore on, on the backside of them. We have Ursula Downs, the Explorer. She also has stats of 7 and 7. Once per round, you may move one space before or after performing an Explore action or resolving the effects of a Sight token. We have Daniela Reyes. She has a health of 8 and a mental of 6. When a puzzle is solved, you may either gain two clues or discard one whore. That's a nice power. And then we have Norman Withers, the astronomer, and he's got a health of six and mental capacity of eight. Action, if you are in outdoor space, gain two clues or discard one whore. Activate this ability only once per round. And like all of the investigators, they have uh, various stats here on the side. You have strength, agility, observation, lore, influence, and will. All right, so that is our investigators. Let's go ahead. Here's just the box or the base. Different bases here. I won't have to open that up, but that's generally for the monsters open this bag. This looks like it has some of the monsters in it and our investigators. Just dump that out. Okay, here we go. Here's a, one of our investigators. So we'll focus in a little bit. Here's our astronomer. There. Here is our, I think this is our explorer. So we have, should have one more here somewhere. Yep, okay. And she's got a little, she's got a machete in her hand. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll take a look at some of the monsters. This can't be all of them. So we have, <clears throat> we have a serpent here that's wearing a headdress, uh, I think, or a, oh no, I guess he's a cobra. And he's got something, well, some kind of a headdress on the top of his head and carrying a spear and a large sword. I'll have to, you know, bend these back in place. Sometimes, you know, when they uh, ship like that, the, the plastic will tend to reform and the way to get that is dunk them in a cup of hot water and they kind of magically almost uh, fix themselves there. So I'm looking forward to painting, painting these. The investigators, I'll definitely be painting with acrylic paints, but I think the um, some of the monsters, I will be using some of Citadel's new contrast paints and uh, some acrylic there as well. Wow, that's a really neat serpent creature. Look at that, it's kind of a winged, it's a body of a, body of a snake, fangs, but man, look at that, those wings. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. The texture when painting this, Really nice job when uh, that comes out. There's there's a lot of detail in those wings, and that's just going to look phenomenal. I, I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, that looks like those were the smaller monsters. I'll get to the cards in a second, but I would imagine underneath here, generally the bigger monsters. Yep. So we've got a bag here. Oop. 
I'm sorry about that knock just hit the camera all right so I imagine this is one of our stone creatures right here he looks like he's made out of stone this will be a, a fun one to uh, paint with contrast I can already see contrast color or contrast paint on him with some acrylic metals and stuff some rust effects on this chain he's got a little ball right there uh, some big crack on his head but that's one large uh, piece right there that's the, I'm looking forward to that one and I think here this one's the big bad this one will have to be assembled and glued in the place so we've got the base of a snake it's actually pretty heavy do like a paperweight on that one so imagine you know once once you clean it up let's kind of assemble this a little bit right here i'm just kind of dry fitting it right now oh there's another one so there's actually two of those uh stone monsters there so we have oh, how's this one go looks like that and then this one would fit kind of like a puzzle this one's definitely going to need some love and care and some glue to put this one together. But you get the general idea. We've got the big bad snake right here. Wow, that one's going to be another fun one to paint. Um, a lot of work on this one. I'm not sure if that's contrast or all acrylic, but man, that mouth open. Look at those teeth there. The horns on the back of his head, on the front of his face. Got those little forked tongue. That's just great. I'm really looking forward to that one. All right. So last but not least, we have a bag of cards. So let's take a look at what we have in here. All right. Looks like we have us uh, item cards here. I don't want to spoil them. I, you know what? I don't want to. I'll just show you the cards really quickly. Oh, jeweled skull. I'm not going to read anything here in case you want to. Uh, you have a lucky bandana, matches, compass, a pith helmet. Yeah, I don't want to read you stuff in case you guys want to find out for your own there. So we've got quite a few item cards. And it looks like we have condition cards here. We have a condition poisoned and fearless, a bunch of different fearless, uh, ins insane cards there. Uh, we have some minor injuries, infected wounds and a skinned knee. We have minor shock, visceral reaction and delusions of power. And it looks like these might be spells now. Call of the Storm. Boy, there's quite a few of those. There's five Call of the Storm, but each one... Well, I can't say they're... Are they all different? No, they look like they're all the same, but five Call of the Storms. Oh, the backs are all different, though. I, I don't want to read those right now. We have Banishment. We have five Banishment cards. So I assume, yeah, all different on the back. We have summoning, one, two, three, four, five. So I guess these are more spells, summoning spells. Very cool. And then finally, looks like we have unique items here. Uh, a citrine snake, a jade crocodile, obsidian jaguar, a turquoise eagle, and the mysterious serpent. So that does it for all the cards. I don't think that there's probably anything on this side, but we'll just double check just to be safe. Nope, nothing there. So anyway, uh, that should do it for this unboxing. Again, this was uh, Mansions of Madness, second edition, fifth expansion, Path of the Serpent. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go ahead and leave me a comment, a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. How do you like Mansions of Madness? Hey, send me an email. We can talk for days about this. I love this game, so I'm very excited about that. Anyway, take care, and uh, I'm out.